in the next few minutes, I'd like to walk you through a scenario that we hear a lot about in case when people build apps for work, right? So apps for our work are apps that you build for work. These are the apps that help you manage projects, orders, anything you might need in the context of your work. And one case that we have is, well, imagine that you manage a project and on the project, there is a project team. And maybe you need to plan a meeting with them to get a status update, do a review, sign up for something, whatever. Well, typically the way you would go about it is that in one app that manages the project, you would have the project info, the info about the team, people, and then you would do what? You would go to another app, you would go to Outlook, start the process of creating a meeting, adding attendees, fighting a meeting time and whatnot, right? Why couldn't you have this, the ability to do that already within your app? Because in there, you already have info about who is on the team. And these are your colleagues. So why not be able to create a meeting with them immediately from the app? So what you see on the screen is a simplified experience of something that you could integrate in your work app that allows you to do exactly that, that gives you the ability to tap into data and insights that you have already stored on Microsoft 365 from within the work app and basically tie these two into one so that users can stay in the context of their work, right? So in this case, because I don't have the uh, work app, let me pick a few people on my team, right? So we will pick three folks. And then let's say that we want to find a spot for four of us, so so three of them and me, which is here included uh, in this app, we want to find a meeting spot for 25 minutes in the coming days. And at this time, we are calling into the Microsoft Graph. We're asking Graph like, hey, is there a time for us to meet? And apparently, we have three options. Like we have one today and there are two tomorrow. So let's pick one of them. And let's say we want to do a project review and we want to meet in room A, schedule a meeting, and it's done. So it's really simplistic and it's kind of the same experience as you would have in Outlook, but it's not in Outlook. And the power of that is, again, you can keep people in the context of their work. They don't need to have two apps open, getting attendees from one app, getting them into Outlook, finding the meeting there, confirming things. No, you can do all of that from within the same app for work that you already use for other things. So like this looks great. The next part is how does it work? Let's have a look at some code, right? So here I have basically a single page app that I built without any JavaScript framework, like no React, no Angular, it's just vanilla JavaScript, right? And I have two files that are really the core of the app. First one is this thing here, which defines the ID of my Azure AD app that is backed or that backs this app. And I put it separately because imagine that you work with other devs on your team and you don't want to be in each other's way because maybe you're experimenting with things. Maybe somebody works on a different part of the app and they want to be able to try things out, right? And maybe you work with your own tenants. So everybody wants to be able to bring their own AAD app. Now imagine that I would put this GUID into my app. Every single time I commit this file to Git, right, it would be a change and then I would overwrite everybody else's. So by keeping this separate, I am not in other people's way, right? So this is a good tip for you to keep in mind when you work with other devs on your team. Now another part is, right? So this is built, we already talked about that this is built using Microsoft Graph, right? It uses Microsoft Graph to tap into data and insights from Microsoft 365. But there's also one more thing that we use. We use the Microsoft Graph Toolkit for this part here, to be able to invite attendees. Because otherwise, I would need to build this UI to let me call out to Graph, download people, download their pictures, build some kind of input box. Why? I can bring this in with the single line of HTML here. This one line gives me the ability to find people in my org and pick them, select them and whatnot, right? So this is really easy way for you to build apps that are connected to Graph. This one line is all you need to have this experience here. And of course, because we're building an app that is tied to Microsoft 365, we need to do auth, right? And we probably know 
Next to time zones and regex, there is off. It's tough. It's hard. It's complicated. There are different flows, 20 million things you have to know about. It's tough. And the other cool thing is, if you use Microsoft Graph Toolkit, what is it that you need to implement auth in your app? Well, first, first thing, you need to bring in Microsoft Graph Toolkit, right? Like you, you, you need to download it uh, to your app. Two, you need to add a login button, right? So basically, did, this is the control here that allows users to sign into your app. This is literally the single line. And then three, you have to tell uh, M MGT, as it's called for short, right? How do you want to authenticate to your app? And let me find the right person, uh, the, right, the right piece of the code. It's here, right? So in here, I'm saying that I want MGT to use MSL2, right? So MSL being the auth library that we offer for at Microsoft for, for auth, right? And we wanted to use the AAD app that I had. I want the app to ask the user to give me access to users, people, so that I can search for other folks. I need also access to calendar so that I can find the times uh, on which we can meet. And then I also want to be able to create an event because at the end of the day, we want to be able to create the meeting, right? So these are the things that I ask upfront, and this is literally all I have to do, nothing more. So this part here, and then all the way up, a login, and I'm good to go. I don't need to worry about which flow to use, where to store the token, how to refresh it. MGT takes care of all of that for me, allowing me basically to focus on building my app. So the cool thing is, right, we've seen, I can log into my app, the most important part, I can uh, pick attendees, people from my work already. The next part is, how do I get the meeting times at which we could meet? Well, my first idea when I built this app was, well, so do I need to get like his calendar and her and her and then his and then find meeting spots, take into account time zones and iterate through all that? Well, that's an option for sure, but there's a way easier way. It turns out that in, in Microsoft Graph, we have this API named find meeting times and it is here. So just by calling this one API and passing in people with whom I want to meet and saying for how long I want to meet, right? So do I want to meet for 25 minutes, 55 minutes, hour, passing that as an option, as well as few other things, I will get back meeting times, right? So Graph is doing the heavy work for me, taking into account uh, time zones, uh, already existing meetings, and so forth, and so on. And I get back all this info directly, right? The way it works, let's have a quick look at the network tab, and let's do another request so that we can see it. What is it that we get, get back? Let's zoom in into that. So this is the data that I get from Graph. I get, like, okay, who is available? Well, everybody is free. I pick three folks, including me. We are all free. The confidence is 100, meaning, everybody will be able to join. You can also say to Graph, hey, let this meeting go through if at least three out of, out of four folks will be able to join. And then you will get some additional things about the start, the end time, time zones, and all that. So all of that info is already available as well as some additional info um, that explains why Microsoft Graph picked this particular spot? Well, because it's one of the nearest time when everybody is available. So cool, right? We get all these insights for free, right? And then once we have this, what is another step that we have left? Well, well, we pick a time, we add subject and location and create a meeting. And the way that works, we call another API from the Microsoft Graph, events, right? So two events we post again, subject, the meeting start and end, which we get from the previous call, we picked our attendees that we get from MGT, right, the picker, and then we basically submit that to Microsoft Graph and with that create event. Now, the cool thing is, right, if you know a little bit about MGT, MGT gives me the ability to add this picker to my app, but it doesn't have anything for me that would allow me to find the meeting times or create a meeting. So. How do I go about it, right? Because like I have one way to authenticate with MGT to my app, but how come that I can then call Graph? Well, the cool thing is, is that MGT internally uses the Graph JavaScript SDK. 
And the cool thing is that it not only uses it internally, but it also exposes it so that I can use it in my code too. So let me show you on the fine meeting times here. Let me see. So here I have gra graph client and I think I get it. I set it somewhere here, right? So here, what I do in this app is I keep track when user signs into my app, right? So I keep track when uh, the state will change. What I want to do is I want to see, hey, if the user authenticates, I want to take uh, take a reference to the graph client, which is the graph JavaScript SDK, and I want to store it in a variable that I can then use across my app for calling graph. And the cool thing is, this is basically the fully fledged graph JavaScript SDK with all abilities, the middleware, the handling of errors, throttling, and all that. All of that it has already in it, and it's already pre-authenticated. So I can I don't need to worry about auth at all. I can just call graph directly, and that's exactly what I do here, right? So here, when people sign into this app, I take a reference to graph, and basically from that point on, I can call any API on the Microsoft Graph, assuming that I have access to it, right? So here, so here I got access. I requested a few scopes, and that gives me access to some APIs on Microsoft Graph, which I think then can use to find the meeting times and create a meeting. So this is a really simple yet a powerful thing that you can really easily build with the Microsoft Graph Toolkit and Microsoft JavaScript SDK, something that you would reasonably want to integrate in your work app. So with that, let me catch up with you with, is there anything that you ask on a chat and maybe a second be my lovely assistant and see if there is anything that I should reply to or respond if there is anything that folks ask that I should uh, respond to live. There was a few follow-up questions, nothing too specific. How does the app handle external users or domains? Would that actually work? That's a good question. It doesn't at all because it doesn't have access to their calendars, right? Yep. So right now, this would be for internal meetings only. Yep. And of course, find time is the one application which would work with externals. But um, this one, this particular thing is a good, great example on internal meetings uh, setting up uh, inside of the company. But other than yes. that, there was a good, good amount of discussion. Mm -hmm.